So how do we do relative motion analysis? To be able to do that, we need to understand the concept behind it. Let's start with our learning objective. The goals are formulate velocity relationship for rigid body relative motion analysis and discuss the application of relative motion analysis. So let us assume that the body in the picture AB is experiencing general plane motion, meaning it has translation and rotation at the same time. We can observe the translation and rotation separately if we use relative motion analysis. For relative motion analysis, we need two coordinate system. First one is the XY, which is fixed and it will give us absolute motion of the any point on body AB. The second coordinate system is the X prime Y prime that is translating with the body AB and it doesn't have any rotation without any rotation. So the first step is to define the position vectors of um, point AB on the body. So if this is our origin O, the position vector of point B can be defined with RB and position vector of point A can be defined with position vector RA. So we know the relative motion relationship RB equals to RA plus RBA which is also a vector. So it says uh, position of RB with respect to A. R B A. So this is this vector here position of B with respect to A and this is denoted by R B A. Next let's talk about displacement. For that we need to use the new uh, drawing below. Assume that the body A B is um, at that position at time t after a certain amount of time dt the body AB is in this position. If there was no rotation then AB would be parallel to AB prime the red dotted body. So without the rotation the DRA and this distance would be the same because they are parallel and the position vector d r b would be the displacement of body b a point b and the displacement vector this one from b prime to b would be the displacement d r b a since the body is experiencing a rotation we can call it d theta so we can write d r b a in as a multiplication of r b a which is this length and the multiplied by the angle d theta according to this equation so for clarification if we write rewrite this triangle here in this form we have the drb here dra and drab we can write this equation where drb displacement in rb equals to displacement in ra plus the displacement of b with respect to a now we're going to use this equation to find velocity for velocity if we take the time derivative of the previous position equation we get this form the first term here is the time derivative of the absolute position rb so that should give us absolute velocity vb the second term is the time derivative of absolute position ra that gives us the absolute velocity va what about this term here because this rb drba over dt in this picture is causing the rotation so 
we can write this term in this form where we replace this term from our previous slide equation where arc equals to radius and angle so we put rba equals to d theta where d theta over dt is the angular velocity so we can finally write r b a into omega so we can write the third term here as a velocity v of b with respect to a and its magnitude would be v b a its magnitude would be r b a multiplied by angular velocity now let's move to the next slide and see what this equation means so this equation tells us that the planar motion from a b to this position a b what, what includes translation and rotation that can be separated into this two step one and two where in the first step we're saying that the body a b has moved to a position new position he here with a pure translation with velocity v a and it also experiencing a rotation angular with angular uh, velocity of omega so the velocity of b is determined by considering the entire bar translating and rotating so when and where should we apply this general plan motion of rigid body that has translation and rotation together so first one is pin connection if in this image if you see if there's a two body and there's a pin connection here if this piston moves up and down it will go through translation and rotation so this scenario is one example that we can use uh, this concept another is contact with another moving body that has a given or known motion so for example this wheel is in contact with this ruler support so in this scenario we can also use um, this concept so now the question comes where should i take my point a and b because we defined all our equation as point a and b the point a and b has to be taken at the joint of a body where the motion of that body is known for example here in this drawing if I have I have to take point A and B, I'll take point B here because the motion of this body is known 5 radian per second. So I will take point A and B, those points that is connected to the body where I know the um, motion of. Here, for example, for contact with other moving body, the problem says this uh, conveyor belt is moving 2 meter per second and it is asking for your velocity at point a so where would i take point b yes we should take the point b at the contact point because this contact point can relate my uh, our problem with the given value finally in summary let's see the equation that we have um, discussed today uh, for the position we already know this equation be from before the position vector rb can be found from summation of position vector ra and the relation uh, relative position vector rb with respect to a and then the velocity equation vb is equals to va plus vba where vba can be written in this form where uh, angular velocity omega is um, cross product with um, position vector rba so this is the vector form of this equation and if we are looking for the magnitude of this term vba we can find by multiplying omega into rba so these are the equation that all uh, we need to solve the ex um, problem in textbook um, so we'll solve problem in class or I'll sh may show you an example. Till then, thank you.